So after that disturbing piece of innuendo, Jen and you finally make it to Nixon's apartment. Jeez, Groovenia looks like the Jetsons on acid. And why haven't we seen the quote-unquote Groovenians yet? I love you. Ah! What the hell? So yeah, these are the Groovenians. Lalasha, Swirly, and Suavo. They look exactly like Jet and Glindy, but with only one eye and a head shaped like a sperm. Well, except for Lalasha, who has hair, stereotypical alien antennae, and an annoying snooty voice. Stop it, you two. At this rate, we'll never find a roommate to take Nixon's place. Fortunately, Suavo is voiced by veteran voice actor Jeff Bennett. Unfortunately, his role in this special doesn't really save it whatsoever. Who are you? Hi, my name's Jet. This is Clindy, and we're from... What are you saying? Like I said, we're from... Oh, we got at the office. Yes, goodbye to you now. Thank you, okay. Well, what was that all about? Huh, now in our luck, it was probably some really cool roommates from some far-off distant planet with a really weird pet. Well, what are the odds of that happening? God, the rain gets dumber every time. But Jet and Glindy ring the doorbell again, this time getting Suavo's full attention, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ew! Maybe we should... <gasps> Greetings, mon amour. I am Suavo. Mm -hmm. Oh, the supple radiance of your fluorescent skin. Mm -hmm. The vacuum firmness of your plastic hair. Hey! He's pointing out how bad the CGI is! Hello, who's there? Oh, well, hello there, sir. Ha <laughs> ha, why I'm not a sailor lady. My name's Jet, and this here's Looky. Wow, nice oculars. Say hello, Looky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? What's with the out of nowhere laugh track? Ah, screw it. Let's just move on before things get even more abstract. I had to open my big mouth. And as to be expected, everyone begins to dance. And by dance, I mean act like rejected gym trainers. I mean, just look at how they move! Those have to be the most ridiculous dance moves I have ever seen in animation. Hell, the dance sequences in Scary Godmother were better than this! And they could actually move more than these Jimmy Neutron rejects! There's so much to see and do here in Groovenia, I just want to open every pore in my body and let it all soak in! <laughs> okay, are we watching a surreal cartoon or a bad sitcom? Make up your mind! Oh, great Sunstar, could this place possibly get any better? What, what in blue blazing Sunstars is that? Something that'll drag this pilot down even further? The normals! Yeah, just call them psychic. Yes, folks, these are the so-called normals. Robotic Gumby figures that come in to receive the taxes the Gravanians have to pay. And they pay their taxes with... Ecto Cooler? Oh wait, I get it. Takes on the expression, waste money like water. Yeah, that's... pretty stupid. All the tax money goes to the King of the Normals. The King of the Normals? What's his name? Your royal blandness? <laughs> no! It's Norman! King Norman! Jesus! Yes, this is King Norman, also voiced by Dennis Hopper. And guess what? He shares the same attitude as the father from earlier. Kind of like Captain Hook and Mr. Darling from Peter Pan. They're basically the same character. And to be completely honest, he's the best character in the pilot! I know I should hate him for being the villain and all, but I actually like this character. Maybe it's because of how Hopper acts so over the top and silly, much like his role as King Koopa in the Super Mario Bros. movie, and actually take his side about how life isn't exactly easy. You just want to do your art and have fun, huh? Well, it's not that simple. You have to pay the Piper for it, and it just so happens you're looking at him. Well, gee, Mr. Piper, I... No! 
Her name is Norman, King Norman, and I love money. And then he sings. Brace yourselves, folks. Hit it, girls. Makes me happy. Money. It's where it's at. Money makes my world go round. Money. It's my metal heart pumping. Money. My hell and liver stuffing. Yes, yes. Now, boys, ain't that something? Money makes my world go round. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, Katie. Ain't that nice? Money. You know I'll squeeze it from you. Money. I'll even tease it from you. Money. But I'll never please it from you. Money really floats our boat. You know, money now. I said sweet money now. Float my boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, what was the purpose of that song? We've got to have money. No friggin' duh! Anyway, King Norman decides to make an example out of Jet, but Glenny steps in to stop him by using... What else? Paint! Why would paint make the robots dance? Wouldn't it scramble their circuits or short them out or... Nah, who cares? It's almost over. You crazy broke any hand. You escaped my greedy clutches this time. But I'll be back. And you better have your taxes. Or it's back to jeepers with you. And your little dog too. Oh, oh uh, hold on. Yeah, it's Scooby-Doo and Toto. They're suing you for copyright infringement over that poorly executed line you said. But wait, he said he'll be back, and he'll send us back to Jeepers. <laughs> well, you know, kids, these are the very kind of life-perplexing issues every hipster's got to face sooner or later. Stop it, Swirly. You're not helping. These two need sage advice. Well, what do you think we should do, Lalasha? Well, let's see. At Ravania, 24 hours isn't until tomorrow. And tomorrow is another day! Here, have some Juzerino cake! Let's party! And to dance! Oh, that is you, baby! That is so you! And that was the Groovenians. Also known as the WORST CARTOON SPECIAL EVER MADE! The animation is horrible, the characters are stupid and annoying, none of the jokes are funny, the plot is confusing, and everything else just makes you feel like you took hallucinogenic drugs before you started watching. Think about it, the show was conceived by a surreal artist who basically made normal people look like money-grubbing drones and beatniks look like misunderstood people. Look, I'm fine with surreal artists expressing their true feelings through their artwork, but this is just like shoving it in everyone's faces expecting them to actually believe all this. I give this piece of crap one star. Just be glad it didn't get made into its own cartoon show, because we already have enough mindless stupid crap on TV. In fact, what evil, twisted, depraved mind sent me this abomination of animation in the first place? I demand to know this very instant! That would be me. Wait. Ah! Hey. Diamanda Hagen? The one and only. You sent me Groovenians? Well, that makes sense. But I was actually kind of expecting my villain. You mean the Count Ziggy, 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 Ziggy Stardust? Yeah, him. Well, usually I don't f around with peons like you and your scars. But technically, this was his idea. <sighs> Should've known. He insisted I give it to you. He had some sort of an accident in a computer store. Poor, melty bastard. You diabolical bitch! Do you know what you just put me through? That was the worst anything thing I've ever seen since Baby's Kids! Dennis Hopper must be rolling in his grave! Yes, yes, whatever, whatever you do. Am I giving a sh**? No. Oh, I'll show you how I feel. 
Freeze in hell, you demonic geisha! Yeah, like I said, it was Lloyd McCollum's idea. Go talk to him, not me. In the meantime, I have better people to talk to. I.e., anyone but you! Ah! I can't believe they subjected me to that atrocity! Well, at least I have better animated films for you next time. Until then, see you at the movies. Anime movies, that is. The deed is done, Zeke Heil, or whatever you f***ing call yourself. Whoever that was is broken. Ah, perfect. I thank you for your services, Mistress Hagen. Go f*** yourself. I didn't do it for you, I did it because I like torturing people. True. But don't forget that you and I both have our similarities. We both want to see others suffer. And don't think I haven't forgotten my end of our deed. Yes, good. Now do it! I have a Greek porno I should be showing to schoolgirls right about now. They love the flagrant for some reason. Yes, your grace. I'll be sure to have it ready for you. You better, or I'll tear out your spine and use your skull as an ashtray. And then! I'll get interesting! My, my. Always talk dirty, do you? Hey, it's what I do. I can out. She loves me. Now, who else can I talk to with this? Hmm. Hmm. What if I should finally get around to reviewing Zelda Twilight Princess? Who's there? Special delivery for Mr. Rowdy C. It's not a candy gram!